Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby! Last time around, we got back here to Dewford Town after doing a little bit of surfing all over the place. So anyway, I actually want to check out uh, the Dewford Hall because I do believe on our second visit here, there's someone new here. Lately, I'm really into Sludge Bomb. What? Don't you know Sludge Bomb? I feel sorry for you. Alright, you can have this one. We get TM36. Slush bomb, which is apparently something that is uh, very interesting right now. So slush bomb is probably one of the best uh, poison type moves in the game. It's got 90 base power, and I'm kind of forgetting about how high Barb's attack stat is compared to his. No, no I don't. Want, I don't want to teach me Tang that. But yeah, I want to check out uh, the difference between Barb's attack and special attack because. Slush Bomb may actually be a better option. Wow, that- well that's a huge difference. Difference. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm actually going to give it Slush Bomb. It's 20 more power and the Crobat's special attack stat is only one lower compared to its attack stat, so... Even though Cross, Cross Poison has a high chance of getting a critical hit, I think Slush Bomb is overall going to be a better option. So there we go, we got Slush Bomb on Crobat right now. So anyway, it's time to go back on the ocean, and uh, uh, I don't know if I'll speed up and play music like, like I did last episode, because to be honest, I didn't really have a whole lot to talk about in that episode. I wasn't really feeling up to, you know, talking about anything really, uh, but we'll see how I will do uh, this episode. But anyway, uh, what I will do, however, is use one of my... Super repels! I will not have to encounter some of those pesky uh, wild Pokemon in this place. Jeez, that didn't take that didn't take long before I screwed up. But anyway, we're on to Route 107 now. A route that is completely unexplored to us until right now. Did you want to battle me? Sure, I'll go up against you. Sure, I'll go up against you. Bring it on, mate or bafe! <laughs> uh, Pelipper. This Pelipper is, is probably going to spam its uh, protect like it, like it usually likes to do. But I'll try to slush bomb it anyway. Oh, it didn't! It didn't try to protect itself. Well, that works out for me. Wow. Okay, that did a lot of damage. And with the poison to to that, that definitely works out. But did it just use roost? Yeah, it did. Wow, I didn't expect uh, someone to have roost at this point in the game. Anyway, Slush Bomb, here we go. Slush Bomb also has uh, less PP than Cross Poison, I just realized. So yeah, that... Nah, I still... I think I'll still stick with with uh, Slush Bomb. And if I'm not satisfied with it, I could just go back to Follower Town and use uh, my Heart Scale on it. Uh, I am, however, uh, a little bit curious. Oh, somebody's calling me. Alright, so I'm pretty happy right now because uh, that was my father who called about my car because it has been in for uh, repairing and I thought it would go for like two, maybe two, maybe three hundred euros to fix but I was very fortunate, it was only one hundred euros so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Now I can spend my uh, money on something else. Oh jeez, that, that that makes me feel really, really good, because I was expecting it to go for a lot, because, you know, you never really know with cars uh, how much they will go for, and since I'm not really a car person in terms of, uh, like, the, the ins and outs, the repairing, and a whole, a whole lot of that, I just know how to drive the car, I, knew, I know how to put fuel in, put oil in, and uh, put some other stuff in, but I don't know how to get parts out and... Uh, check some things so yeah that I am really happy about that 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 makes me feel good so now the car is all ready and it's able to dry dry for another year so that yeah that 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 puts me in a really really good mood and uh, this is actually the third car that I got and I I've had uh, my driver's license since the 5th of January 2011 so for four years I've had uh, I've had a driver's license and I've had three cars in that time slot. But anyway, uh, the first car I had, it was a Honda Civic uh, and it didn't cost a whole lot. I think I bought it for like 600 euros. 
Which, uh, yeah, it isn't a whole lot. It was a used car. It was from, I think it was 1992 or something like that. Uh, as we got a double battle on, on our hands here. But, yeah, I managed to drive for like half a year until it, uh, the clutch, I think, completely just broke. Or first it was uh, the starting engine. Uh, that one just completely broke, so... Uh, someone that we knew had to had to fix it, and uh, after we done that, that was when we re when I when the clutch just completely went, and uh, it had to cost like 600 euros to get everything fixed. There was something else uh, else that needed to be to, to be just completely uh, taken out or completely switched. Uh, I do remember what it is, I just don't know the uh, English language for, for it, so... Did I just say the... The English language for it? No, the English word for it. It's the, it was the exhaust system that had to be completely uh, removed and... Uh, something new, so yeah, that, that was not a whole lot of fun. Uh, so I only got to drive it for half a year, as I said. Then I got another car, which was a Renault Clio. I think it was from, or I think the Honda was actually from uh, 91, and the uh, Renault was from was from 92, and uh, that one I actually managed to drive it for two years. For when I got got up to my uh, the school that I went to for not for Kai, but <laughs> god dang it! Also need to check out this word, so I so I so I know what I need. To, god damn it, Scooby! No, Shabby, Shabby. Okay, it's Licky V. He, he, he is licking me yet again. Oh. Uh, he, wa he wants to join in on the fun yet again, and he's sitting on my keyboard and I can't do anything about it! Oh, it's lagging so hard right now! Shabby! Oh, jeez. Oh, the screen was lagging so hard and he's... Shabby, <laughs> uh, you are a complete and utter maniac. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was Folk High School, uh, when I went up there in uh, Foresund, which is like uh, six, five and a half miles away from- Okay, okay, now he's sitting in, in my lap. Now he's sitting in my lap. But yeah, it was like five, five and a half uh, miles away, and I get, got to drive there pretty much every day. Uh, that car definitely did the- uh, Oh, we could dive here when we eventually are able to dive. But yeah, that car definitely did its part, uh, excellent. I also bought it for, like, six, 650 euros, and, whoa, what is this? Uh, why is, why is it a, just a random patch of land here? I don't know, but what I do know is I need to get some water, so be right back. <coughs> <coughs> and there we go, so, let's just jump back into the water now. So yeah, that car cost me around... 650 euros, so it also definitely did its part. Uh, but again, uh, at the end of its, I guess, life life cycle, it also had to be repaired for like 600 euros. So it's basically what I bought it for. <laughs> so yeah, it's it definitely did its part. I mean, it was not the greatest car that I've ever seen, or that you you maybe ever seen, but it it was decently comfortable and it took me places. Uh, where, where I needed to go, and it was decently, uh, fuel, I mean, I think it did, like, 0 0.7 liters to the mile, uh, so, I guess it was decent enough, I mean, I was pretty happy th that the car managed to last uh, that long, considering how long, uh, that, how long I managed to have the first car before that one managed, managed to break down, and, uh, now I've got an Audi A4, and I really, really like it. It is the most expensive car I bought, though. And I think I bought it for 1,100 euros. And uh, I, as, as I said, I like I like it a lot. It's definitely the best uh, out of the three cars. Um, I mean, I really, I really like the look of it. I just really like uh, uh, how it feels and whatnot. And I, Generally, I just like it, and most of the electronic stuff also works on that thing, which uh, wasn't really the case from for the uh, Renault. Because uh, that that thing uh, thinks uh, radio antenna 
just didn't work and we couldn't get it up. It was just... I mean, it was really tiny, so someone must have uh, just uh, almost completely took it, took it off. And we were just cut it off, basically. And uh, we, we just couldn't get it off, so it was just... Uh, I mean, I could drive like one or two miles away from Vespi, and then it, it would just completely go... Uh, uh, the radio, we couldn't listen to the radio anymore, so I had to bring my own music, you know. Unfortunately, I had a stereo with like an MP3 outlet, but... Wait, what? We got the C Marvel here, and... This place definitely looks uh, more majestic, I guess, than... Uh, than it did in the original. I mean, it's a, lo a whole lot bigger, and... You know, the 3D graphics kind of have, have helps with that. But anyway, we got ourselves a bar out here who is going to sludge bomb everything. Yeah, this whole sludge bomb deal is definitely, definitely working out for me right now. Uh, so anyway, what I actually want to say really qu quickly too, is that a couple of weeks ago I have got myself a new processor for my computer, which was supposed to do 4.7 GHz, but it only did 4.0 because of my... Uh, Mother card, I guess. So I had to get a new mother card. But before that, when I when I was recording, the the video went completely out of sync. I don't know why. The first recording I did, I don't know for how long I said, like maybe one to two hours, just trying to figure out how the hell I would get it to work, to get it in sync and whatnot. And I don't know how it managed to get that. And uh, then what I did, I. Just got the got the file into Sony Vegas, and then I kind of just uh, slowed or I slowed down the uh, video portion of, of the of the file, and then everything just magically got in sync. So <laughs> hopefully that does not happen right now because I got myself a new mo motherboard. I will do a new an updated setup video in the future. I don't know when, but it will definitely happen in the future, and uh, then I guess I'll show you the specs and whatnot. But uh, this is actually the first recording I'm doing with this new motherboard, and now my processor is up to its full potential. It's 4.7 uh, gigahertz, and uh, it, the computer is feeling really, really nice right now. And uh, from what it, what it looks like, it looks like the audio and the video is going to be. Uh, in sync right now. I, I've tried one recording for like one minute, and it, I think I think it has definitely. Whoa, I think it definitely feels uh, pretty nice. But oh my, are you a tourist? I'm a member of the Nature Preservation Society that manages this site. Is there anything you would like me to tell you about Simova? What is this place? This place was once a facility built to extract natural resources that can be found in the ocean. However, a certain event led to the facility's closure. Normally, you would expect that an unnecessary facility like this, this one would be torn down. But an environmental survey carried out before new construction led to the awareness that a unique environment had risen here at Sea Marvel. As a result, the demolition plans were shelved, and this space was reborn as a nat nature preserve. Is there anything you would like to? What is there to do? The most easily recognizable feature of Sea Marvel is this building which now tilts precautiously into the sea. After being exposed to the elements for so long, the building's support strike is weathered and corroded. Ultimately leaving the building in its current state. Please be careful where you step as you experience for yourself the awesome power of nature. Also note the mangroves growing in this area. They are extremely rare trees and can only be found here and around Moss Deep City. Lastly, I would like to point out the interior of the, of the building has been largely untouched in the decades following C. Marvel's closure. A fact that most of our visitors still like to experience. So, no, I'm pretty good with that, so... WHAT?! I HAVE TO PAY TO GET IN?! I guess it's because it's a nature preserve, but come on! Whoa! Yeah, we, we gotta watch out because... Oh, well, we can't really... We can't really step into these, uh... Holds by yourself because the game uh, stops us from doing that. But anyway, we got to see Mava Lair, and there's actually no new Pokemon that we can find in this area. So, yeah, whoa, yeah, here's the back of the uh, of the Sea Mava. 
do wonder if there's hidden items uh, uh, over this place. Anyway, we got ourselves TM18 Rain Dance here. <coughs> There we go. And I really like the music in this place too. It just seems uh, really soothing. Oh yeah, I already, already spoken to that guy. I think there's more that we can do in this place uh, later on in the game. But for right now, I think the only place we can really... Oh, wait, we, we can head up here. And there's a guy just standing here. Good, good. I like it. I really do. It's atmosphere. Like it's been forgotten in time. In time! But yeah, we can head inside here, it seems. I think there's trainers in here. Sniff, sniff. Just a sad thought. A rare Pokemon must be hiding somewhere in this abandoned building. Girls are very sensitive. Girls are very sensitive. Yep, yeah, yeah. And of course, it's only girls. Here, it can't be equal. Isn't this place fun? I get chills just being here. And there are rumors about an awesome Pokemon living here. Well, I gotta find that Pokemon. Well, I don't know if I can actually find it right now or if I have to wait until later on. When I was young, I worked here. Even though it was closed for Pokemon's sake, look at my old workplace deteriorating like this. It's my mixed feelings. Ah, I can't go farther. If my Pokemon knows the move dive, I might be able to go farther. Unfortunately, we don't uh, have that move either, so... We're going to have to wait a little while, so yeah, we're supposed to be able to dive down there whenever we got it. We've gotten dive, of course, and uh, ooh. So I think, oh! Yeah, we can go in. So, places like this are rare, so I'm taking a good look around. Hmm, 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 there appear to be other rooms. You don't say, yeah, here we go, we got some trains here. We were looking for treasure when we found a trainer! Oh, were we looking for treasure when we went and found it? Okay, that, that wasn't in sync in the, in the audio at all. But we got the young couple Lewis and Al! So cute! Such cute OMG. Anyway, they're going to have themselves a Volvit and Illumise. And let's see, uh, they shouldn't really be able to do anything at all against my powerhouses of Matang and Barb. Yep, Volbeat didn't stand any chance. Uh, I would, I wouldn't be surprised though if uh, Illumice is able to take my Zen Headbutt, but Illumice is going to try to make a wish. But it's not. Yeah, that. Yeah, I knew it. I, I knew that uh, Illumice would be able to stand up to uh, a uh, just a regular Zen Headbutt. But anyway, there we go, and thank you very much, Matan, up to level 33. We couldn't even, we could, we could, we couldn't even win battling together. So strong. I'm just too strong. Too strong for everyone. I guess I'm too strong for my own good too. So anyway, uh, I think I actually want to move uh, Bubbles up to the front of the party. Let's see the egg though, so... Okay, I, I'm not even close, it seems, to hatching that egg, unfortunately. Well, when a, when the time comes, I guess it's the time to... There's a gigantic PC behind the locker that doesn't open. Moss is growing from the broken monitor. So yeah, there's definitely some atmosphere with this place. Uh, very interesting, I must say. Okay, no. Room 1 written on it. So I do believe there's supposed to be... Yeah, we can't do anything about... We can't do anything uh, more here in the sea model right now, unfortunately, uh, because we're we're going to have to go ahead and get uh, get die for that. Can we? No, I thought we could maybe go down here, but we can't. Yeah, unfortunately. So yeah, I think there's definitely some atmosphere to this place, which I don't think was uh, was really around uh, back in the back in the original. <laughs> 